Marcus has not got a home anymore. He's lost a leg. And now we see this lump on his leg. I mean, how much bad luck can one dog have? The worst case scenario is it can be an incredibly nasty tumor, which can spread to all areas of this dog. We won't let him down, no matter what. This tumor is a horrific, ugly, nasty looking thing. That's disgusting. Today I'm making the drive up to North London to see a wonderful charity called All Dogs Matter. They do really amazing work here in London where they rescue and rehome abandoned dogs. It's run by Ira and her team and today they've asked me to come and visit a really beautiful Labrador who's got some really big problems. Good boy, good boy, he means a good boy. I was expecting this really poorly three-legged dog to come in and the van pulled up outside and we could hear the biggest woof ever, followed by the back door opening and Marcus jumping out. We instantly fell in love with Marcus, he's adorable. From the outset, Ira also noticed that the abandoned Marcus had a large lump growing on his leg. We thought that maybe the reason his back leg was missing was he'd had a tumour before, a cancerous lump, and it was removed. So we thought possibly the new lump could also be cancerous. So our thought was, look, this guy is going to be put to sleep if we don't take him in. Let's at least give him a chance. Let's get the lump tested. Hello, ladies. How are you? Hello, mates. You must be Marcus. Oh, you're a handsome chap. Oh, thank you. Big smooch. And he seems like in pretty good nick. If anything, yeah, he, he seems like he's been uh, well overwintering quite well. Marcus has been to the school of hard knocks. He has not got a home anymore. He's lost a leg. And now we see this lump on his leg. I mean, how much bad luck can one dog have? I want to be very brave. I'll stick a needle in your arm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, so this is a microscope slide box full of, guess what, microscope slides. <laughs> yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to pop a little needle into that nasty lump. We're going to take some cells. We're going to pop it on a slide. Gonna send us to some smart people at a lab and they're gonna tell us if we should be worried. How's that sound? Are you worried? No. We'll be waiting with bated breath, hoping that that comes back as benign. Um, and as soon as we get that result, we'll sort of start looking for Marcus's forever home. That's our hope. He's such a special boy. Mm. And we're just hoping and praying for him. It'll be good. An extra kiss for luck. Yes. yes. Yeah, you deserve it. Good boy. Slowly, baby. Come on. You're a good boy. In Richmond, three-legged rescue dog Marcus is heading in to see Scott. Should we go, baby? Come on. Slowly. Four days ago, samples were taken from a worrying lump on the Labrador's leg, and the results are now back. Hello, Nina. Hello. Oh, yeah. How okay. great to see you. Yeah, me too. Hello, Marcus. Hi, Gina, hey. look at this guy. What a handsome hey. fellow, isn't he? Kara oh, yeah. Nina has been helping to look after the Labrador since he was saved by a dog rescue charity. Cuddles are over, mate. Uh, me and Nina need to have a chat, so let's go into the consult room, shall we? Come on, Come on then, big guy. This Even one... though Marcus is very happy, loves his walk, loves being around us, there are a few signs that are a little bit worrying. He drinks a lot of water, he gets tired very quickly. I'm ready for the best, but I'm also a little bit ready for the worst. I'm a little caught out by the result that we've got. Mm -hmm. We found some cells called spindle cells. Right. And spindle cells um, are the starting blocks of a type of tumour. Mm -hmm. um, and the worst case scenario is it can be an incredibly nasty tumour called fibrosarcoma, which can spread to all areas of this dog. Um, Do you think it has spread already, or will the cell just be in the tumour? At this stage, I don't know. And do we have a way to find out? We do. Absolutely, we do. What we need to do is determine if the tumour has spread, where it's spread, and what type of tumour it might be. In this instance, the worst case scenario for a normal dog, you'd remove the leg 
Mm -hmm. We don't have that option no, with him. No, we don't. We can't do that, obviously. I know and I can feel already how much of an impact this dog's made on you. So I He's know wonderful, Scott. I can't... I don't understand. How can people give up on such a loving dog? I, I don't understand. Today is a very difficult day. I wanted to burst into tears, but I didn't want to show this emotion to Marcus because being so happy in front of me and not knowing what's happening... <laughs> and I don't think it was fair on him, so I did hold on to my emotion and try to keep the happy face. Scott will now take x-rays of Marcus to find out if the cancer has spread. We don't know what's going to happen. Scott will soon come back with a verdict. No matter what, we will never give up. You need to be full of hope and you need to try. And this is where I think his kindness has paid off because finally, with you, with me, with us, we won't let him down, no matter what. Damn right. Mm. Oh, hello. This handsome fellow is Marcus. Oh, hi, Marcus. Hey. In the treatment room at the you? Richmond Are Clinic, Head nurse is Emma it? is about to join Marcus's growing fan club. Honestly. Oh my God, look at him. I know you said you were bringing me a new man that I might fall in love with, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah? Isn't he gorgeous? Thankfully, he's incredibly oblivious. Aren't you? You just love all the love and attention. Oh, you don't look. care. You don't care. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and just all the rest of us feeling very melancholy. Oh, you're such a silk. Look at you. Hmm? What we need to do is do various x-rays in order to determine if the tumour has spread, where it's spread, and what type of tumour it might be. Whatever God or not you mm -hmm. pray to, let's just pray that this dog is going to be OK. We're going to need the lights off. That's it. There we go. X-ray. With Marcus's foster carer, Nina, waiting nervously upstairs, Scott and Emma are about to look at the chest x-rays. Is this just normal? Yeah, there's no tumours we need to worry about there. It's looking pretty healthy. OK, good. Let's move on to abdominal x-rays then. It's okay. good news so far, with the chest clear of tumours. But they also need to check the spleen, the area that Scott is most worried about. Generally, this type of tumour will spread to the spleen. But so far, so good. That looks like a nice, beautiful, healthy spleen of a beautiful dog. So that's good. So I'll go and give Nina that good news, and then uh, you can get set up for taking the lump off. Will do. There isn't any presence of cancerous lump, so that's really great news, and it does mean that at least at this stage, the cancer hasn't spread. So no uh, tumours I can see, all right? So uh, nothing in the chest, nothing in the abdomen. What I need to do now is to actually move forward to surgery. Okay. And I'm going to be taking the lump off. Brilliant. Oh, I'm so happy. Right. Oh, I'm so happy. It's brilliant. Very good news. Thank you okay. so much, right. Scott. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. All the best. But while Nina is feeling more positive, Scott is well aware Marcus is not out of danger yet. This is a rocky road and I don't know where it's going to go and I only will know once I actually remove the mass. This tumour is a horrific, ugly, nasty looking thing. It's horrible and it's invasive. It's going deep into Marcus's leg. Normally in potential cancerous lumps, you have to remove around three centimetres in all directions. Well, if I take three centimetres in all directions, he loses his leg. But he can't lose his leg because he's already lost one. So I'm just in a very, very difficult situation where all I can do is try and remove as much of the tumour as I possibly can and then just hope like hell that the result comes back, that it's one of the less nasty ones really a bit of a half ass job and that that is not my happy place. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty grim, isn't it? That's absolutely foul. That's disgusting. This does not look nice, so I am concerned about Marcus's future, but I need to hold fire on my concern. I need to be there for Nina through the process. We'll send it off to the lab 
and fingers crossed. If Marcus is lucky and the tumour turns out to be a low-grade cancer, the Labrador has a good chance of survival. I mean, I still have hope that we'll get a result, which means that he will live a number okay. of happy years, but we just need to be patient uh, and be prepared for the worst as well. So it's, it's, it's going to be a tough wait. Yeah. Today is a very difficult day, but I have to hold on tight about the fact that no matter what, we will do our best to give him that quality of life. Will it be a month, six months, a year, two years? I have no idea. But during that time, for sure, he will be cared for and never, ever found himself abandoned again. You've got a nice bed waiting for you. And I know someone who's going to sleep next to you tonight, and that's going to be me, just to make sure you're OK. Yeah. Good boy and good girls. We've got a really good dog here, haven't we? As for Marcus, he's loving all the attention he's getting with his foster carer, Nina, and her two other dogs, Sadie and Django. Do you like your new friend? Yeah, is that nice? Is that fun? Oh, little sweet. We need your bandage off. And you'll be fine. Ah, oh, no. It's been three days since Scott removed a nasty lump from the three-legged Labrador. <laughs> Sit. The results have just come back, and tests have revealed that the tumour is a low-grade sarcoma cancer. But while it's malignant, it's not aggressive. There is a big chance that it might regrow in the same area. And if we have to remove the tumour again, then we will do. But the chances of it actually spreading to other parts of his body are really low, and so that's really good news for the future of Marcus. Wow, what a nice ball you've got. Django, come on, come and bring your ball, slowly, slowly. <laughs> and that's not the only good news for Marcus. He's going to stay with Nina and her family for the immediate future. Obviously, we hope for the best and we will see what happens, but for the moment, for sure, he's really happy and he's fine. You are doing very, very well. You're getting better by the day. Hi, I'm Dr. Kate, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen for more great content. And for free, exclusive, never seen before Bondi Vet stories, you can sign up to bondipet.com and you can do so via the link in the description.